Hey folks, uh, Revolutionary Brewer here. Uh, we're back with another homebrew kit review. Uh, we're going to have to do a pretty quick one today. Um, we're here, we're sporting the uh, old school uh, Hartford Whalers jersey for all you hockey fans out there. Don't see many of these around anymore. And we're going old school with our beer as well. We're going back to good old Mangrove Jack. And um, what's happened, uh, Mangrove Jack has uh, morphed over the last couple of years. They started out as Brewcraft, and we tried a bunch of their uh, series. Then they've switched over to Mangrove Jack, and they put out a new line of beers. And uh, they were pretty good, too. And they're still Mangrove Jack, but what they've actually done is they switched from... Uh, the canned kits and now they put it in a bag they it's like a little um kind of like a plastic bag i'm not sure what you would call the material but they say it's the uh best technology to keep the uh keep the malt fresh so let's see how it turns out this is a uh mangrove jack uh traditional series pale ale it's a new line of uh, beers they have to call the traditional series, and this is the first one I've brewed. So uh, let's crack it open. Uh, we'll give it a pour, and we'll see what this bad boy's all about. This one hasn't been in the bottles too long, probably maybe three weeks, so it's still a little bit young, but uh, let's see what we get out of this pour. Looks, it's a little bit darker than the lighter ales. It's got a little bit of a copper color to it, so not too bad. Let's see here. Nah, very mild head on it. Nothing too crazy there. And it's a little bit cloudy. That's just uh, it's some chill haze. I noticed that uh, these beers have a bit of chill haze to them. But, uh, I mean, really the taste is uh, the proof of the beer. Let's give it a try. Mm, that's a crisp beer. Uh, this, uh, what is it? A pale, yeah, pale ale. This is a. Uh, it's a little bit darker, but it's it's got a little bit of bite to it. Let me try this again. Oh yeah, she's got a bite to it. It's got a little hop bite to it. I'm not surprised. And most of these uh, mangrove jackets, they they're not really. This got some hop bite to it. I'm, like I said, I'm pretty surprised. I just brewed it the traditional way. I used uh, the one kit then a pound and a half of uh, liquid malt extract, uh, light, and then a pound and a half of the uh, high malt glucose. I uh, topped it up to 20 liters, and uh, this is what it produced. Ah, well, it's got a little snap to it. Wow, you can real those hops are pretty strong. Usually these canned kits, the, it's not as, ho not as hoppy as this one. This is almost... Almost like an IPA India Pale Ale. It's that hoppy. But it's a clean hoppiness. Like uh, going down, you get that crisp hop bite. But there's no aftertaste. There, it's like, this is a pretty unique beer. Uh, like I said, it's still a little bit young. So I could should have waited a little bit longer. But um, I'm going to give this one like, uh, we'll give her... Three and a half out of five. This is this is quality beer. Another solid uh, outing by Mangrove Jack. Their kits are always pretty good. But um, one of the concerns I did have with this kit, the uh, new uh, poach kits, I guess it is called. Um, they just put a glob of glue on the bottom and stick the yeast to that. Uh, this one fermented really hard. Actually, it had a huge, uh, huge crossing on it. But... Um, I'm a little bit concerned about the yeast being shipped like that. It just seems like it's it would be easy to damage it that way, or I don't know. It just seems more secure under the cap on the can kits because there's just like a glob of like uh, glue on the bottom, and they just stick the packet right to it. But anyways, uh, so far so good for this new uh, Mangrove Jack traditional series, the uh, pale ale. Yeah, like I said, it's uh, a good quality beer. A little bit bitter if you don't like bitter beers you might want to stay away from this one like i said it's almost got the bitterness of an ipa this is one of the toppier uh, pale ales i've seen in kits usually the pale ales are pretty light uh lightly hop when you get them in the kits but this one man oh yeah it's got some bite there's no question about that anyways um if you like a little hop, uh, try this new uh, Mangrove Jack uh, traditional pale ale. Uh, coming up next, we're going to have another Mangrove Jack kit. Um, there's, they're actually uh, bottle conditioning now. It's the uh, 
Mangrove Jack Traditional Brown Ale, I believe it is. So uh, stay tuned. Lots more coming up. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, cheers. Uh, keep on brewing.